Yo guys, Twist100 here. Today I'm going to be reviewing Rosalind Maiden. So first, mini introduction, June. June is the guy, the I think I think he's 13, 14, who decides to wind the key, which sets in motion the um, you know the anime because he wants to see a Shinku, and that is kind of just what starts this whole up. He's the main male protagonist. Um, he is a shut-in, a, you know, a shut-in, a recluse, a hikimori, whatever you want to call him. Uh, well, a recluse and a hikimori are the same thing. It's just, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut up with that. But anyway, um, then there's Nori, who is his sister. She actually does attend middle school. June does not. He is, like I said, a shut-in. He quit. Tomoe, who is... Um, June, June's and Nori's friend, she is also the medium, slash, you know, master, or whatever, um, I guess this medium would do, for, uh, Hina Ishig Hina Ishigo, Ichigo, Ichigo, um, which I will get to in just one second. Rosalyn, who is the maker of the Rosalyn Maiden, Maiden dolls, uh, they all call him father. And then I will be talking about the um, Rosalyn Maiden dolls shown in the uh, in this anime. Sujito, the first Rosalyn Maiden doll. Suwasuki, who is the third. Sawasuki, who is the fourth. They're twin sisters. Um, they're the ones shown to the right. Shinku, who is pretty much like the main uh, mascot of Rolls and Maiden. She is she was uh, the doll that June wound. And then there's Hina Ichigo, who is the girl on the left in the pink. She's um kind of silly, but she's kind of she's also a really cool character. Uh, Shinku is very um. Proper, but proper like, but very, uh, yeah, d just don't get on her bad side. <laughs> okay, so, getting to the review portion of this. Animation, I thought the animation was done, was done very well, actually. I thought it was, um, like the fight scenes that we actually did see, they were actually pretty nice. I thought they were done well. Um, the dream world that you see, that we did see from June was interesting. Same with the dream world from the, uh, grandmother, who is the grandmother, like the elderly people who are taking care of Suzuki and Zelosuki. Um, that was interesting. And then there's also the dream world for the old man, which was also interesting. I, I thought they were all very well, interesting, <laughs> but no. I thought they were all done very well. Um, animation was nice. The, uh, oh, there's one other thing. The, uh, like I said, the fight scenes were done well. I thought they looked good. Um, Shinku's main aspect of her fights are actually roses. And Tsujihito, who is the first Raja Maiden, Raja Maiden doll, they, she has black wings, because she's like a, um... Well, to be honest, it's it's well up in the second series of this anime. And I know I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm not really... I'm not saying anything to, about the review for that one. I'm just saying that, um... Meg, who I will not say anything about, Meg calls Sujito a black angel. And, I don't know, I kind of I kind of agree with that. She is like a black angel. I mean, she's not a nice, she's not really nice, I will not say that, but she does remind me, she does resemble a black angel. Um, yeah, so the animation got an 8 out of 10. Story, I give an 8 out of, 8.8 .8 out of 10, because I thought the story was really nice, how, um, these Raws and Maiden dolls just happen to, like, come into June's life all of a sudden, and it adds to it, because they're at, like, each one of them has such a different personality, and it adds so much to the story. It's such a rich story. I love, um, I mean, it's not like overly amazing, like, 
like one of those kind of things, but I really liked the story. It kept me coming back, it kept me on, I kept watching and watching and watching, had to know what come next. And um, the ending for it, full alert, Tsujito uh, actually gets killed by, um, well, burnt up by Shinku. And I thought that was a really awesome thing, like it was a nice thing. Uh, the animation done for that, what, I mean, the animation for that was done very well too. Um, by the way, I, I didn't really talk about this. Um, the mediums, June and Tomoe. Tomoe was Inishiko's um, medium, and then she Inishiko had to get rid of the ring because she was using too much of Inishiko's power. Which, by the way, the ring kind of connect the medium to the doll, and then she went to live with um, Shinku who is the, uh, or she lives with, Shinku lives with June because June is her medium. This is all part of the Alice game. The Alice game is the seven, yes, there are a total of seven Rawls and Maiden dolls. The seven Rawls and Maiden dolls have to fight each other and take each of their Rosa Myster Mysticals, which are the special beings inside of them that make them live, like what give them life. Rawls and made them with Rosa Mysticals. They have to get, get all the Rosa Mysticals the, so they can become Alice, the perfect girl, the girl that Rawls and wanted to create and is yearning to create. And, yeah, that, it, like, each episode's really add into that, because, you know, the Alice game really isn't going on very much, like, they don't really try to, um, enter that. And I found that to be interesting, because they're supposed to be, but Shinku's not really pushing it, and none of the other ones, I mean, it is mentioned a lot in the anime, sure, but I mean, it's not like, I don't know, I'd like it whenever they kind of get along, I mean, of course, Suji Ito, um, the first of the main doll, the one that I said was like a black angel, that, well, Meg said she was like a black angel, she is definitely for the Alice game, and it gets very heated, um, which is why she ends up getting beat at the end, but anyway, Story-wise, 8.8 .8 for sure, and an overall rating for me, I give this an 8.4, because I thought this anime was done very well, and I really, really, really liked it. So, without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed this anime review. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, share my video, it helps me out as a small YouTuber, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.